The emphasis on COVID testing through 2020 saw a number of medical equipment manufacturers ramping up their production of test kits, and this quickly became a big source of revenue for many. But with the numbers showing a plateauing in the rate of infections and India getting ready to kick off its vaccination drive, there is fear that demand for the test kits may take a hit. Tutsanit reports on how many test kit manufacturers are now banking on alternate revenue streams. What you see being put together here are RT-PCR test kits used to detect COVID-19 infections. Over the last year, diagnostics companies have moved away from importing such kits and ramped up domestic manufacturing capabilities. Trivitron, for example, has the capacity to manufacture two crore test kits a month from its plants in Chennai and Vizag. These kits have accounted for 60% of the company's revenues in 2020, while conventional business like the manufacturing of ultrasound machinery and CT scans were down 50%. The expansion of manufacturing facilities has meant that only 10% of testing needs are met through imports, against 90% earlier. It has also translated to cheaper tests, because a test kit that was once priced at 1,300 rupees by Pune-based MyLab now carries a price tag of just under 300 rupees. But with COVID-19 testing on the decline, companies like Trivitron and MyLab have started looking at how to use the infrastructure to make kits to test for more ailments, thereby reducing costs for these tests as well. This RT-PCR infrastructure which we have created will actually, we need to start doing more assays. Like as I said, you know, dengue, malaria, HIV, hepatitis, all these were all dependent on imports. Now all these companies will start producing these kits here in India. Just before COVID, India was hardly doing 1% PCR or molecular test. And as, as you see today, uh, we have more than three to 4,000 centers doing this test. The, pre, the, the major factor was the cost of infrastructure, the cost of price. But we have proved that even a high-end test like a molecular test, which was hardly 1%, can be brought to common man if we work at a scale. It isn't just Indian companies that are making these test kits in India. The Atmanirbhar Bharat push seems to have worked in getting overseas diagnostics majors to manufacture here. German medical device manufacturer Siemens Healthineers, for instance, recently announced a 1,300 crore rupee investment towards setting up an innovation hub in Bengaluru with a specific focus on molecular testing. And with localization levels touching 90%, a country with a population as large as ours seems to be ticking off most boxes in staying self-reliant even in the post-pandemic months. In Chennai, this is Jude Sanath.